You have got people worried, concerned, shook up, questioning in their life based off where you are today and what you stand for. These people are literally monitoring you just to be nosy, but they never cared about you or never showed that they cared about you all this time. But now they're monitoring your life because your life is looking up. You making more money in your career. If you're not making more money, you are spending more time with the Holy Spirit and your light is blooming and shining and you're radiating. You look better than you did 10 years ago. You look like you're going through life like fine wine, just getting better and aging well over time. This is why these people choose to monitor you. They monitor you to see where they can come in and mess over your life at. After they didn't already got booted out of your life, now they want to monitor you and see what you got going on. They can't understand that the blessings that God gave you, that you're blessed and highly favored. You are so blessed and magnificent that people are purposely watching you, scoping you out to see if you're going to fall off, see if you're going to run into a rut, see if they find ways to mess over your life because they can't figure out why, figure out why you're so blessed. You're blessed because you got God in your life. This is what these monitoring people fail to realize these people that really don't even care about you, that secretly despise you, but want to watch your every move on your life. This is what they don't know. They don't know that you put in the work to get where you are today. You put in the work to become the wonderful person you are today. You put in the work to mature. Despite life issues and whatever was thrown your way and people that forsook you, people that scammed you, people that did horrible things to you, people that act like you was nobody or nothing. These people are having a rude awakening about where you are right now. See, they thought you was going to be in a slum. Yeah, these people thought she was going to be in the slum. They thought she was going to be miserable. They thought she was going to be mad and upset. But yet, you still happy. You still well. You still flourishing in life. And they can't understand why it's you that God chooses to bless and not them. Well, if they would stop monitoring you, stop hating on you, stop acting like you the reason for their problems when they know they the reason for their problems. Stop acting like you were responsible to be around them while they mistreat you and disrespect you all day and act like you were supposed to sit around there and take it. Then maybe they will be blessed too. This is what these people didn't realize. You got blessed because you wasn't doing what they were doing. You were not making somebody else's life hard just for you to get blessed. These people was purposely making your life hard so they can reap your blessings or prevent you from getting to your blessings because they want to hold you. They didn't want you rising to the next level over them. But God said, you cannot hold my child bound. You cannot hold them when I want to bless them. God wanted to bless you. And yet these people acted like, oh, why God got to give it to you and not me? <laughs> Why God got to do this and that and that in your life? And I'm still sitting over here struggling, miserable, stank, toxic, mad. Why, Why he choose to bless you? Well, if they would get out of that haterade energy, stop looking at you like you the problem and actually do something better with they self, Stop staying stagnant in the same place they've been at and do something greater than what they've been doing, then just maybe they will be blessed too. Just maybe they will be where you are. 
Maybe if they focused on God a little more and not their circumstances and not rob people and make everybody else's life a living hell while they rob and steal and cheat people to get their blessings, then maybe, just maybe, God will bless them. When their heart posture changes into the righteous things of God and not the wrong things of God, like how yours did. You might have started off on the wrong and narrow path at first, but you got right with God and you changed your heart posture for the better. But yet they want to monitor you and act like and act like they don't understand why God is blessing you. It's not your fault that God chooses to bless you because you chose to be royal, be pure at heart, be righteous at heart. And why they plotting and scheming and wondering how you getting to your next level and why you getting all these blessings in the season. These people are wondering about that heart. But they don't care. They just want to see why you getting blessed more than them. That's the reason why they monitoring you. Why you deserve the blessing. None of their business on why you deserve the blessing. God chose to bless you because you were his child and he wanted to bless you. It's none of their business why you're where you are all today, why you shining a little brighter than they are, why you look a little better than them spiritually. That's not your fault. You just put in the work to get where you are. And you had faith along while you put in that work. And this is why God is blessing you for that very reason. Faith without works is dead. You put in the work. They did not put in the work. But yet they wanted to turn their nose up at you and act like you was the nobody one. Well, you continue to be the nobody one to these people. Even though you're somebody to God. You just continue to be nobody to these miserable people. These monitoring spirits. These haters that, that you ran across at a point of time. You continue to be nobody to them. While you keep on elevating at the same time. And they keep wondering where you are. See, you didn't need to prove yourself to these people at all. You're beautiful. You're well. You're mature. You're happy. You learn tough life lessons to get where you are today. But yet they monitoring your every move. Trying to find ways to make your life hard. And trying to find ways, cheating ways to make their life better. Why are they trying to make your life worse? And God keeps blessing you and blessing you and blessing you. Why? Because he knows these people have no right coming against you like the way they came at you. This is why you got blessed. The more attacks you face spiritually, the more blessings you get when you come out on the other side. Because you got attacked without cause for no reason. The devil wanted to attack you and use people to attack you because he hated that God wanted to bless you. So while you dealt with all this ridicule and all this hate and all this stuff that people threw your way to make your life hard, God looked at these people hard and looked at you and he said, you're going to continue to get more blessings because they ain't coming at you, right? You ain't doing nothing to these people, but they want to they wanna treat you like you're trash, like you're scum, like you're this, like you're that. And you a nice, you a nice person. You my child, God is saying. So let me bless you some more in front of your haters. Let me bless you some more in front of your enemies. Let me bless you some more in front of these monitoring people that want to scope your every move in life. Let me bless you some more against the job that decided to terminate you without cause because they feel like you wasn't, you didn't meet the qualifications or because somebody chose to lie on your name at work so they got rid of you, a good employee that you were because out of jealousy or whatever reason that management wants to do it, for God saying let me bless you some more in front of these people because they keep taking from you and let me keep adding to your life while they keep trying to subtract but I'm going to keep adding more the more they keep subtracting hallelujah the more I'm going to add to your life God is saying to people right now the more they take from you the more he going to bless you why because your heart posture is right and their heart posture is wrong towards you as his royal child because he know you don't have a messy horrible evil bone in your body but these people trying to make you out to be the bad person and it's backfiring on them like never before because they wasn't supposed to come against you to begin with this is what god is telling 
these monitoring people that really don't care about you, that thought you was going to be crawled up under a rock right now, that thought you, you was going to be crying somewhere, I don't know, on a freeway, I don't know, begging homeless, whatever these people had planned for you, it's not working because God didn't like their ugly hearts when it came to you as his child. No, God didn't like that. He didn't like how these people acted. He don't like, he didn't like how you gave your all to that love relationship. You was giving your all, but the other person was giving you the bare minimum, subtracting from your life and yet running to the next person on you while you giving your all and all your love and your heart to that relationship. And this person wants want to take from you. Now that you got this person out of your life, out of this relationship. Now this person want to be a miserable, scorned ex, acting like you was the problem. When in reality, they was the problem. Then God told you to move forward from the situation because they were playing you and dogging you and treating you like trash and crap and running to the next person on you behind your back and laughing with another person, pillow talking with them about you and how you the stupid one and how you, you silly and how they playing you and using you and you still came out on top. So now this ex-lover is mad and upset about you and where you are in life because God still chose to bless you through it all. Even after they left you and discarded you like you was nothing in the street. God saw that too. I don't know who that's for regarding the love relationship. God saw what that person did to you. And God did not like it. They should have been honest with you in a relationship. They should have just told you they just want to use you up for your body. And abuse you. And treat you like trash. And take from you and take your money so they can go pour into another person. They should have just told you that and been honest from day one. But because they wasn't. God is blessing you in front of this ex-lover or ex-lovers. Because it might be more than one person. You never know where you came from. And I'm not here to judge you about that. It might be more than one person. Now they got to watch you be blessed right in front of them. Watch God bless you while they have no more access to your life. And this is why you don't do wrong by people. Because you never know who God going to raise up. You never know if you're going to see that person again and how they're going to be. Yet they try to mess over your life. And now these people want to monitor you now. And, and be envious and jealous. Because God choose to continue to bless you while they was trying to make your life hard. They shouldn't have been ugly. They shouldn't have been toxic. They shouldn't have been miserable. They shouldn't have came at you foul. And then they wouldn't have to worry about why God is blessing you and not them during the season. You continue to get your blessings. You continue to be well. Let these people, these, let whatever they want to call themselves, let them continue to monitor you if that's what they want to do. Let them scope your every move in your life to see if you're going to mess up, fall off, and if you're doing ill will intentions to get your blessings. You ain't doing nothing but just being blessed by God because you're being a good person. So let them continue to hate and monitor you, scope you, and figure out what they can do to get back in your life. You, on the other hand, don't let them back in your life because they don't deserve you. These people do not deserve you and your good energy and who you are. They try to subtract from your life. They try to run your mental they tried to run you insane, but now you still clothed in your right mind. You ask God to clean up your heart from the matter and the life lessons you had to learn and renew a right spirit within you and clean you white as his up. And he did just that and look at you radiating today like never before. Yet these people want to be mad about why God is blessing you. So they monitoring you to see your every move. Let them monitor and let them be salty. If they want to be salty, let them be salty. I haven't used that word in so long. They salty about your life. A lot of these people just salty. But it ain't your fault. They shouldn't have been ugly and came against you in the wrong way. Having gangs of people monitor you and do stuff against you. When God in return decided to continue to bless you because God saw your heart. 
And that's the prophetic message I have for a royal one. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.